anything to do with the murder of Mo3, but what I'm gonna send you a nigga. The feds have been in Dallas, Texas for the past week arresting rappers left and right. And now the feds are even investigating the murder of Dallas legend Mo3. And that has Trap Boy Freddy nervous. I'ma just be honest and say it. Trap Boy Freddy is nervous. Now I'm not insinuating that Trap Boy Freddy had anything to do with the murder of Mo3, but what I'm, I'm insinuating is that Trap Boy Freddy understands the magnitude of it. You see, Trap Boy Freddy recently went on Instagram to talk about it. He sounded humble. He was talking about he's non-violent. He wanted to call a truce all over the city, Dow uh, the city of Dallas. He wanted to bring everybody together. He wanted to get back to his old self. He wanted to go to church. He was using proper English. That's how a man sound when he knows the feds are in town. He knows he's being watched. He knows he's being investigated. So he's gonna go on Instagram live to try to save face. Smart man. But see, he did a complete 360. Cause that was not what he was saying a few weeks ago. When Mo3 first died, the nigga was talking about he having a celebration. That's called a butt naked strippers over. I you this and that, woo de woo. He couldn't stay off of Instagram live. He kept made a diss song. All that. And now Trap Boy Freddy is humble. And I don't think he did it. I don't, let me just make this clear. Trap Boy is one of my favorite Dallas rappers. He's a legend in his own right. I don't think he had anything to do with Mo3. But I kind of think that Trap Boy kind of likes when you think he did, though. I, I, it's it's kind of like, you know, when a nigga ain't really do something, but he kind of wants the clout. That, that's Trap Boy. I had the video of Trap Boy Freddy Instagram live after word got around that the fans was in town. And I'm going to play it for you guys. But before I do that, I want you guys to pay attention to his body language. I want you guys to pay attention to the words he is saying. And I want you guys to pay attention to how he totally changed up his tune from a week ago. Let's watch the video and let's react to it. I'm finna get the city back right right now. I gotta get back on my BTC shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that break the cycle. I know I always break the cycle. I don't promote no violence. I ain't read all that bullshit. I'm finna get this shit back going. I gotta get on my yellow bees and shit and, and, and learn how to ignore shit. You know what I'm saying? I suck at that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I can try. I be doing it sometimes. Sometimes, niggas say something smart enough. I gotta say, I gotta say something too. But like I was telling y'all, man, I'm finna get back on my shit. Bring my city, bring my city back together. Like I was doing on Six Pit. You know what I'm saying? Had this everybody in the city rocking on my mama. You know how it go. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was throwing negative energy, so it kind of fucked up the vibes. But everybody, you know what I'm saying, got somewhere. Everybody doing good. So it's time, baby. It's time, you know what I'm saying? I can't never tell nobody to squash nothing, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a lot of feeling in this shit. I'm, I'm a soldier, but I don't really come to, I don't need no sympathy off no gangster shit. So you will never hear me try to get no sympathy off no gangster shit cause this is exactly what niggas signed up for supposedly. So I ain't finna be on no internet. Um, pray for me about no gangster shit. I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. This is why I can't be going to church a lot. Like, I swear to God, I always be wanting to go to church like a motherfucker. Because sometimes I feel like I just need to hear some good shit. You know what I'm saying? But every time it's time for me to goddamn go to church, it's some bullshit happening to where I don't want God to think I'm running the motherfucking church because um, of what's going on. So I don't go. You see what I'm saying? But that's some crazy shit, cuz. Let me preface my comments by saying this. Trap Boy Freddy is no dummy, and I understand what he's trying to do. I commend his vision. I commend him for wanting to bring the city of Dallas together, but that will never happen. A man lost his life, a legend lost his life, and everybody think you did it. So how the hell is you gonna bring the city of Dallas together? It's gonna forever be divided. It's gonna be people in your corner on one side. It's gonna be people in Mo3 corner on the other side. That's just the way it's gonna be. So why the hell do you wanna unite Dallas anyway? My advice is get the hell out. You got your whole life to live. live. You make great music, go mainstream and get the hell out of Dallas. That's my advice. And I think the internet I think the speculation, I think the rumors is getting the Trap Boy Freddy. See, y'all see that video 
Y'all call it an Instagram live video. I call it a cry for help. Look at him in his eyes. He's crying for help. He's paranoid. He's not loving life right now. He don't know who to trust. He's driving his car. He keep looking over his shoulder. Who the hell wants to live like that? And now that the feds are in town, you change your tune up. You show humility. You're a choir boy now. You're nonviolent. You want to bring the city together. Where was all that weeks ago? You were just celebrating the man's death. And now you're a choir boy, huh? The feds is in town. Now you want to change everything up. You just played a diss song a week ago. Where was this at? You should have had this same mindset from the beginning. Hey, me and Mo3 was enemies. I don't like that he died. I was hoping we can rekindle our friendship one day. It really sucks that he died. That's all you had to say. Release one statement on it and go on with your life. But nope, 